Hello, welcome to tutorial number four. Uh, now we're just going to be making a very basic calculator that you can make it add, subtract, divide, or multiply. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do each, but then it can only do that one thing. So, what I mean by it is this you'll see. So, we're going to make um, two variables. Now instead of putting this int, this time we're going to put double. And what double is, it's a real number. And a real number is when you can have a decimal in the number rather than just a straight number. A uh, real number can be 5.2, 5.8, 6.0, which is 6. But an integer has to be a straight number like 1, 2, 3, negative 10, negative 100, and so on and so forth. So to make the calculator better, we want to make it so that they can enter decimals too, so it can add and subtract and divide and multiply decimals. So we're going to make um, a double, we're going to name one variable num1 and one variable num2, right? We could also make this a float, but a float can't hold that much memory as a double. and um, each of them have an amount of bytes, amount of memory you can put into them. So double, you can put larger numbers in them. Let's just say that. So we have num1 and num2. So as we learned in our other tutorials, we should always put um, a prompt to the user. So in this case, I'm just going to put enter number 1. Right? And then we're going to put send and I didn't put end line because I want them to write down the same line. So num1, so we're getting number 1 from the person, from the user, then we're going to put enter number 2, and then send num2. And don't forget those semicolons, those semicolons are very important. So now we got both the values, now we just want to display it on the screen. So we use a cout function, the sum, since we're going to be adding them this time, of the two numbers is, and then this is where you have to pay attention. You can simply do the addition in the cout statement. So you put num1, the plus symbol, num2, and end it with a semicolon. Well, let's put n line. So end L for end line. And let's do control F5 to run this program. Start without debugging. And enter number 1, 10. Enter number 2, 5. Some of the two numbers is 15. It's cool, isn't it? Well, not maybe not that cool, but at least you can do something in programming. So there's the important thing in programming practices to learn how to do things in different ways, not just one way. Because if you only know how to do things one way, you'll fail later on in the future. So let's look at a, a different way to approach this. So up here, we're going to make another variable called result, and it's also a double variable. So instead of doing the addition in here, we're going to put result is equal to num1 plus num2. So the values of these added together is stored in the variable result. So instead of putting the two, the sum of the two numbers is num1 plus num2, it would be you just put result. And then when we run the program, let's enter num1. 10 and we'll put 5 again 5 the sum of the two numbers is 15 so you know two ways of going about that now say you want to do subtraction you just put the dash symbol that means subtract and then if you want to do division just put the slash the backslash and if you want to do multiplication you put the asterisk symbol that means multiplication Right, so those are the basic symbols for adding, subtracting, dividing, and multiplying, and 
there you have it so you just made your first calculator in a C++ program so congratulations and next video we're going to be learning how to tell the computer how to make decisions this is the best part in programming because this is where you can actually make something happen so it's a very it's an easy concept but you have to pay attention a lot so hope you like this video and don't forget to comment and subscribe and don't forget that thumbs up and I'm out for now.